Hi, Brian. Kingfish here. We at Hubba Hubba Review know that you picked up a love of burlesque through all those years working coat check next to our Monday night show. In appreciation and to thank you for all the many times you held on to costumes, shoes, jackets, wigs, feathers, props, and all the other junk we left laying around at DNA Lounge, we have a special visitor here who'd like to share with you some of her experiences in the topsy-turvy world of show business. Please welcome the shining jewel of the burlesque stage, Madam Edna LaRue. Hello, Brian. Our good friend Jim Sweeney from Hubba Hubba Review told me you weren't feeling well. So, he asked me if I would send this very special video message to tell you all of us from Burlesque love you and we hope you feel better soon. While we're talking, I wanna talk to all you young kids today who are performing in the world of burlesque. I was a showgirl once just like you. I was the Grand Dame of Atlantic City Burlesque from 1933 to 1937. Don't smoke. 23 years, that's what my husband said to me, don't smoke. Well, where is he now? 10 years in his grave, that's where. <laughs> hey, listen, I had knockers out to here. Now they're knockers down to there. I did very much love performing in the cabarets of Berlin. I'll tell you something about German lovers. They're efficient. <laughs> when Friedrich found out I was really a Stein. <laughs> I, the Nacht music was many things, but it was not Klein. Everything you have heard about Milton Burrow is 100% true. Please, I only drink blue curacao now. It's the only thing I can keep down. Anything else, I'm sick as a dog. No, thank you, honey, I'm trying to cut down. That last blackberry schnapps was a trip into Atlantic City and straight into the stirrups with me. Three times is enough. Please, Douglas Fairbanks was many things. He was not a ladies' man. I love all the friends that I made during my years in Atlantic City. It was very difficult. And if I could go back and do things differently, I would have gone much, much more high-end. Jersey City, at least. Sheboygan, no, never. Branson, Missouri is like the first tier of Dante's Inferno. Their fried hot dogs were fried in fried things. Nothing kosher in sight. I'll tell you a quick story. One night, when I was performing at the Yaya yeah Palace, I saw a little pair of beady little Irish eyeballs staring at me through the curtain of my dressing room. So, I grab my parasol and I throw back the curtain and what do I see but an eight-year-old little boy. This look on his face like he's been given free candy. Well, let me tell you something. That little punum was none other than a young Jim Sweeney sneaking in to watch his first burlesque show. It was the most darling thing I've ever seen, so we invited him in, and he has been a part of our community ever since. We had never seen such a small cigar. I do remember he stole our whiskey, but he's come along beautifully. Anytime you're ready to redeem that offer of marriage, Jimmy, I'll be waiting here. Anyway, Brian, I hope you've enjoyed hearing some of my recollections from all my years in burlesque. I want you to know I will be keeping you in mind when I meet Penny Marshall next week at Temple Beth Michigas, and we will be praying for you. Until then, my dear, as the French say, I do.